What's happening guys? So today we're going to be talking about the Golden Hearts Festival, which is returning on November 18th for Blaine Soul. Got some new content, got some new things coming, so let's talk about it. Very first thing we have is new gem tiers. I feel like they just released the Pentagonal gems like a couple months ago, but I guess they are kind of old now. They're adding new gems. They're adding the Hexagonal gems. Uh, you're going to need, of course, three Pentagonal gems to actually make them. You're going to need a total of 240 Hamo gem powder, 240 Soulstone crystals, and 80 gold. That is a lot of freaking gem powder. Uh, just to make one of them now i don't know about you guys but i still just have triangular gems and my square gems i definitely do not even have pentagonal gems so uh not even gonna really care about this at all if you are one of the top whales in the game you can look forward to getting hexagonal gems personally for me i just feel like they release these gem tiers way too quickly and they don't even try to reduce the cost of some of the previous gem tiers to make it quicker and easier to upgrade to i feel like that they're gonna add hexagonal gems so quickly why not make getting pentagonal gems a little bit cheaper they're already insanely expensive it's not gonna make it any less grindy honestly but i just feel like that would be a great idea because the majority of the player bases may be on uh, square gems like i have triangular gems uh, really only the top whales have all these pentagonal gems in my opinion just because they're so insanely expensive to make so i feel like adding other tiers is something that most people won't care about uh, I would love to see them reduce the cost of other gem tiers to make it uh, just better for everyone overall. They're also going to be adding pentagonal gems for obsidian and garnet. Uh, so if you want to farm and get the eight nocturnal scales, you have to do MSP and all that. So again, mostly just kind of a whale content right here. But hey, if you're a whale, new stuff to farm for, gear up with. Uh, it's never ending in Blaine's soul. But then we also have this new zone. So stroll on down. It's an auto hunting zone. Now, this is not new. We've had these uh, this year a couple times now. But this is the very first time it will not be PvP forced in this zone. So you will be able to do auto hunting, which means it's just auto combat. You know, go do the dishes, go make some, you know, food in my kitchen right there. I might go do that right now. And I just have my character farming for me and I don't have to pay attention. Now, in the past, there would be PvP that you could flag and turn on. So you would usually get these people who are just, you know, really big jerks. And <laughs> while you're AFK cooking in the kitchen, you know, some guy just comes up and just kills you now you won't be having that the pvp will not be enabled in the zone personally i feel like this is a great theme because why even have pvp in a auto afk zone it makes no sense to me because the majority of the players are going to be afk that's the whole point of the zone so they're not going to be paying attention so if you turn your pvp flag on you're literally just being a jerk and just killing people who are not even at their stream so it just makes no sense in my opinion it's really stupid that they had it in the first place but this is something that Korea liked, I guess. But now they're going to be doing no PvP. So you can just come in here. You can auto farm, do your thing. Uh, I expect it to be really crowded, honestly. I hope they add enough freaking channels. That would be great. Uh, but they probably would be very crowded, hard to find mobs and everything. But if you can, you don't have to worry about being PK'd from a player. Uh, you can AFK safely and farm. Now in this zone, there's four different field monsters you can farm. They draw different emblems and you trade those into the Dragon Express. You can get different cosmetics. You can get fusion stones, which are used to make mythical enchantments on your uh, gear. Also can get pet gems, just a bunch of various things. So it's definitely worth farming, uh, but we'll have to see how it goes. I feel like it's just going to be very crowded, but at least there is uh, no more PVP. Just a really dumb thing to add to an AFK zone, but uh, they had it for quite a while. Finally, not doing it with this one. Um, you also have Tower of Finney, got a whole new season. You want to farm that for the new soul badges, season of ascension. Then we have uh, the part that I just I find kind of ridiculous. We have the mythical enchantment for heart, pet, aura, soul, and talisman. Literally all these new enchantments for all these new equipment right here. Like, why would they add so many in one update? This is actually crazy. And if you're not familiar with what the mythical enchantment system is, it was released in uh, July for the weapon. You'll see right here, you have all the way to this breakthrough uh, get to stage 20 plus and each of them give more uh, boss attack power and bonus stats and when you get to the higher stages they actually have a chance to fail this is basically just uh, rng crap uh, added into playing soul so rng enchantments and if you fail then you get reduced down to your stage so you'll see right here levels reduced if unsuccessful here's the success rate so look right here let's say you're trying to go from 14 to 15 stage for your mythical enchantment weapon you have only a 15% chance to be successful. So that means you have an 85% chance to fail. And if you fail, you get downgraded two stages all the way to stage 12 if you're stage 14 when you're trying this. So this is just a terrible RNG system that basically just ruins all your equipment. And if you fail, you lose all your material and gold. And the success rate is so low, it's just completely ridiculous. Look at this, 5%, like it's just, 
RNG crap, and uh, it's really terrible, honestly. I think it's just a horrible enchantment system. It's just like Black Desert. No one likes the enchanting in Black Desert because you have a chance to fail. No one wants that in Blaine's Soul, but they added it anyways. But uh, now they're doing it for all this various equipment. This is a lot of different equipment, and all of them will go up to stage 20. So this is just total, total RNG crap for the whales. I mean, if you want to enchant for it, you can, but there's such a high chance you can fail. You waste so many materials. It's just a really bad system, in my opinion. There's no sense of progression because all you're doing is throwing gold and materials at this mythical enchantment system, and then you just lose it all and go down like three stages. It's just really, it's kind of the perfect idea to milk the whales because it takes so much effort and luck to actually get to these higher stages that uh, they could be really upgrading forever. They just keep upgrading, keep downgrading, keep upgrading, keep downgrading. It just never ends. And now they're doing it for a bunch more equipment. I didn't even know they're doing it for these. So this is just maximum milking the whales as much as possible. Um, I'm not sure if the success rate is better for this equipment than the weapon. I kind of hope it is, honestly. Otherwise, that's just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this is just like maximum milking the whales as much as possible. Uh, I guess they're just going to do it for everything. They might as well just do it for every single piece of equipment. And uh, yeah, that's just the new thing they're doing for Blaine Soul. More milking the whales. Um, I would say I'm happy about this. I don't really care about AFK content, but at least they can't, you know, PKU. New gem tiers, whatever. Mostly this is just kind of like whale content, honestly. There's not a lot to really look forward to. Uh, hopefully the event gives decent rewards. You get some pet gems and stuff, which is kind of cool. But um, overall, just more whale equipment, more grinding, more RNG crap. Uh, not really the best month for update in my opinion, but either way, let me know what you guys think about this update. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a like, sub to the channel, and I'm out.